Just, well, good to see you. Hi, Damish. Uh, start off with team news. I know when you ever get asked that question, sometimes it's it's not good news. Have you got any good news this time? Well, it's just where we were at, really, for the last game. Um, Eli and the bio obviously featured against Wolves, so that was a positive. Um, people knew that Issa Kabore was was out, you know, after after last week as well. So pretty much there where we were last week. Um, not so long ago, this fixture looked like it was going to be massive for both Luton and Everton. Now that Everton are safe, does that in any way work in Luton's favour? Time will tell. We don't know. We haven't got a crystal ball. Um, they've done incredibly well, obviously, to um, to deal with very difficult circumstances and get themselves out of it. And, um, yeah, we know, obviously, it's huge for us. So, uh, at times like this, it's who deals with the pressure best. There's probably less on them now. That could give them an edge with more freedom and a little bit less pressure to deal with. But hopefully we respond in the right way. You played before your relegation rivals in, in Forest and Burnley this weekend. How big a psychological blow could you land because a win takes you out of the bottom three? Yeah, it, it, it could. But again, we don't know. I mean, we've got to concentrate on our job. Um, if we do that well and we get a positive result, then we know what it does. But um, And then it's down to other teams to respond, of course. Um, whether it matters, does it matter too much when we play at the moment? I'm not too sure. It, it just matters how we play and, and, and also then the outcome. That It does matter now. We're at the business end of the season. It is a really, really big game for us. We know that. Um, yeah, we've got to find, first of all, that performance and, and, and the stuff that we've talked a lot about before Wolves and hopefully that can help us get the right result. I'm, I'm guessing this next question would probably be easier to answer if you knew what was happening with Nottingham Forest, but with three games to go, what do you think you'll need? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. We're going to try and take maximum points in every game, but none of us know, do we, Damish? We don't. Um, you know, the re result of the appeal, none of us know at the moment. Uh, as things stand, there's obviously two points separating the, I think that's right, the three teams. So at the moment, it's like a three team, three game mini league. Whether that changes because of um, you know, external factors, we don't know. Um, so it's really difficult to talk in, in a hypothetical way now. And uh, all we can do is try and concentrate on ourselves, the boring answer, but the right one and try and pick up as many points as we can. Rob, I spoke to you after the, the Arsenal game and you said that you believe with every fibre in your being that Luton Town will stay in the Premier League. Has it, that feeling waned at all no. since? No, it never has. I know we've had some difficult moments after that. You know, We picked up a really good win against Bournemouth and a really good performance, which probably got brushed under the carpet a bit because it was just about the win at the time and everyone focused on the win. The performance was great. Tough game against City, a disappointment performance then against Brentford and an improvement against Wolves. But we, um, yeah, we've only had the one win since that game then when, when you and I spoke. But some difficult games in there. Uh, no, belief hasn't waned at all. It's, it's there. And we have to have that. We have to have that belief, that hope. Uh, we have to have something to really focus on. And I, I'm, I'm big on that. You know, we, we talked a lot about it last year, about achieving what we wanted to. We, we spoke about it. We talked about that feeling, you know, of success um, and then how we get it as well. So the belief is still completely there. I can feel it with the players, the staff and, and our supporters as well. You know, after every... Their supporters have been incredible. And after every game, you can see them with us and, and actually lifting us again as well. Um, and we're really lucky in that respect. I know you don't want to tempt fate, but if you were to achieve this and Luton were to stay in this league. Can you put into context how big an achievement it would be? I, I refer to an interview I did with one of your players, Ted Mengi, a few weeks ago, and there was almost a comparison to be made with when Leicester City won the title. Hmm. That kind of mentioning it in the same breath. Is that fair? I don't know. I mean, that was obviously pretty special, wasn't it? Um, it will be a big achievement for us. We know that. We were, you know, we've been huge underdogs, which is fine with us. We probably were to get out of the championship in the first place, and then to retain our status in the Premier League is, you know, it would be huge. The the level of the task is massive. As we stand right now, we're, you know, we're in the mix and we have as good a chance as anyone, I I believe, to to do it. And we'll see if other things are to change in the coming days. But um, it would be some achievement. Last couple from me, Rob. Sean Dyche is to 
taking on a bit of a superstition is wearing a, a track suit for every game at the moment. Are you superstitious? Have you got any superstitions, particularly around this time of the season? Yeah, well, yeah I think it does funny things to your football. <laughs> Last year I was using the same toothpaste for like for about six months just on match day and I was like scraping the barrel trying to get the last bit out. I was doing that in the playoff final. I was like, come on, I'll eat it today. Um, uh, so yeah, little things like that. You have your lucky pants and things, don't you? You know. Um, so yeah, we've, I think we've probably all got our strange little things that we do that have no bearing whatsoever <laughs> really on the, on the end result. Um, but yeah, you'll do anything to try and get that win. How have you got something similar to the two this time? Not too, not too much. I'll do things in the same sort of order, try and drive the same way in, you know, take the same sort of roads, the same route, leave at the same time, dog walk at the same time. Things, little things like that at the moment now, but uh, but then when it hasn't been a good result, I might change it up and uh, different colour of clothing or different, the lucky pants are no more and it's a different pair. We'll try and give another pair a go. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Just finally, um, I've seen Sean Dyche, I don't know whether you've seen this footage of him in a, in a music video. Just wondered whether you, you'd ever been asked to, to be in a music video. <laughs> I don't think I'm well known enough for that. I don't think anyone would want Rob Edwards in their music video. So no, no, I certainly haven't. <laughs> Thanks, good luck. Cheers. Rob, um, good afternoon, first of um, You mentioned that the players still have the belief that they can stay up, but what have you seen from them this week in training in terms of their belief? Have you sensed any sort of nerves or even perhaps excitement about what lies ahead? I think it has to bring out the best in us. I've seen the, a, the same kind of group that we've had since we've arrived at this football club, positive positive energy, a uh, group that enjoy being around each other, want to work hard, focus on, on a plan, focus on the training, um, train with intent and a purpose, but an enjoyment and a fun there as well, which I think is really important. Um, you know, we've got to try and enjoy life. We've got to try and enjoy this privileged position that we're in, position that we're in at the moment. Um, like I said, we're still in the fight, so the belief has got to be there. From your point of view, I mean, how do you feel personally as a coach, as a manager, going into this final game? I'm really proud, first of all, to represent this club, and I've said that a lot this year. It's a special football club, and I'm really proud to be uh, the manager here. Um, I don't take that for granted or lightly. Um, and, and also to be at this level, it's, it's, as a young British manager, you know, it's not that many of us that get the opportunity and I love it. I love being in the Premier League. I love um, the challenge of it and we all do. The staff do, the players do, supporters as well. I think we've really enjoyed it. When it's obviously been difficult at times for us, but, but our difficult moments have been different to a lot of other teams' difficult moments. It's been our first experience of it. We are a smaller club. We could handle losing games as long as we lost them in the right way. That's why we've only really had a couple of dips this year. Not many at all. So I've really enjoyed this challenge and uh, I think it's brought out the best in us and we don't want it to end. We want it to continue. And in terms of, of the challenge of Everton, obviously they're safe now. They've won their last few games, but all of those wins came at home and their last away game obviously ended in a 6 0 defeat. So how do you view the challenge of Everton tomorrow night? It's a big challenge. We'll expect their best. And um, yeah, they have done really well. You know, three clean sheets in a row, three wins, big games, pressured moments. They've dealt with it very, very well. And... Um, you know, I don't know how they've felt this year. Obviously, they've been in the middle, right in it, with all the you know the stuff that's been going on, and um, you know, in, in real difficult circumstances, they picked up a good number of points. Uh, they deserve credit for that on the pitch, no doubt about it. So yeah, we're expecting a very difficult game. They they play with real intensity and aggression. They they've got good players as well, and. Um, and I suppose, uh, you know, throughout a lot of the early part of the season, maybe we weren't getting some of the rewards that, that maybe they were due. And um, and perhaps more recently they have been getting that. So hopefully they don't tomorrow. Obviously they've been in a good run of form recently, but you have beaten them twice already this season by two months all night. Mm. What do you think you can take away from those victories going into tomorrow's game, if anything else? Well, we can. We, we know that we can beat them. And we know uh, we can compete with them, especially at Kenilworth Road if we we're at it. Um, then we know we can. And of course, the different day, different types of pressures, you know, um, more on the game for us, especially now at this stage, we've got to be able to deal with that. But we have done it twice before, so um, we can take belief and confidence from that, but also I'm recognising that it's a different day and different set of circumstances now. Um, yeah, we've got to make sure we deal with this occasion and, uh, and it brings out the best in us. 
bigger than a cage and could the bands and make it in terms of, you know, their support tomorrow night and how important will they be for the, 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 Our supporters will be huge for us tomorrow night, there's no, no doubt about it. I've mentioned that in my programme notes and, um, and we've spoken a lot about it uh, throughout our time here. Kenilworth Road's a, a real, it's, you know, it's a different type of stadium, different type of atmosphere to many grounds, especially at this level now. Um, and our fans know the important role they can they can make. And under the lights, it's it's a different feeling. It is intimidating. It is close. And look, Everton themselves have got brilliant supporters, and when they're with them as well, Goodison Park can be very very similar. But we've got to make it. You know, we've got to have it rocking tomorrow night from the beginning. And I want them in early. I want them in in the warm up, making that noise and and making themselves heard. And uh, because they can be a twelfth man for us, twelfth person for us. And I think it's really really important that. You know, because it's not all going to be plain sailing tomorrow. We're going to have to dig in. We're going to have to defend very, very well. And it might be a little bit nervy at times. We don't know those moments. That's when we're going to need our supporters tomorrow. They can make a huge difference.